I am using regular drawing paper and Arteza colored pencils and I'm going to draw with Sharpie so you can see my lines but feel free to draw with pencil. I'm starting towards the top of my paper with two curved lines connected together. This is going to be for a nice little snow hat for my puppy. I'm going to add a curved line above those and I like to put one of those little fuzzy balls on the top of the hat. Now you could always do a different kind of hat or you could do earmuffs or something like that instead if you'd like. I'm going to start at the bottom of the hat and make a face. Notice it kind of curves in towards the bottom of the face. And then I'm going to add some ears on the side here, kind of coming out of the side of the hat, like so. And again, you can make smaller ears, longer ears, fluffier ears. Puppies have all kinds of shapes and sizes. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make some circles for the puppy's eyes. I'm choosing to do two pretty good sized circles, very low down on my puppy's face. I'm going to make a smaller circle on the inside and then color around it. This will leave highlights on the puppy's eyes. So I actually have two small circles on the inside and then I'm coloring around them with black to give little highlights on the puppy's eyes. I'm also going to make kind of a triangular shaped nose. I'm going to leave a little highlight on the top of my nose as well. And then I'm going to have the mouth at the very bottom curving up into a nice little smile. I want my puppy to look like it's wearing a little sweater. So I'm going to start on the top here by the face, make two lines coming down and connect them along the bottom here. And then I'm going to add one more line, just like the hat. So the sweater and the hat look pretty similar. Next, my puppy needs some feet. So I'm going to go ahead and make the front legs coming straight down. And then I'm going to make the front paws at the bottom of the legs like so. I'll even put some little lines coming up at the bottom of the paws to show where the little toes are separated. Then for the back legs, I'm adding more of a curve line. It curves out and then comes back in. And I'm going to add those little paws as well, but those kind of go out towards the sides. And I can add those little lines coming down for the toes as well. If you want to, you can throw a little tail in the back of the puppy, poking out from behind. Now the only other thing I want to do is to maybe add a little bit of a design or detail on the hat and the sweater. And you could really do any kind of design you want, polka dots or stripes or zigzags. I'm making kind of a wavy line and then I'm just putting some ideas of lines here along the bottom of the hat and sweater. I think I'm going to add a wavy line on the sweater as well so that the hat and the sweater match. All right, I think I'm done drawing. Now I'm going to go ahead and move to the coloring portion. Again, I'm using Arteza colored pencils. I have this set and I like to use it because the colors are nice and vibrant. You can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you have around your house. I decided to make my puppy a brown color, but again, you can make it look like the puppy that you have at home or maybe your favorite kind of dog as well. I'm gonna go ahead and continue coloring until I have my entire puppy colored in.
As I finish up adding the final details to my puppy, I wanted just to say thank you so much for watching my video and visiting my channel, Elky Art. Please come back for more fun video tutorials. I also have a little kitty in the snow, as well as many other fun things to draw, make, and paint. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.